I have a very important announcement to make. I'm married! <laughs> and I'd like to introduce you to my husband, David. <laughs> We're, We're married! married. <laughs> <laughs> Christine got married last Saturday and the interwebs have been buzzing. Christine and her new husband David clearly signed an exclusivity agreement with People Magazine because they have the details of the wedding on lockdown, dispensing tidbits here and there as they see fit. As photos of the lavish affair started making their way onto social media, one member of the Brown family was noticeably absent. That would be Christine's daughter, Gwendolyn Brown, who herself just got married this past July. On Tuesday evenings, McKelty and Tony Padron have been doing watch-alongs to the previous Sunday's episode of season 18, and last night they answered what they could about Christine's wedding. McKelty confirmed what viewers feared, and that is that Gwen did not attend her mom's wedding. We have a lot to talk about. Let's get into today's video. Hey everyone, what's up? It's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be voiceover commentary. Okay, let's just jump right into what McKelty had to say. During these live watch alongs that McKelty and Tony have been doing, they historically will answer questions from their live chat even if the question doesn't pertain to the episode at hand. They will often answer questions about current events going on in their family. So in my opinion, it was a foregone conclusion that they would be asked about the wedding during this watch along. I will be linking McKelty and Tony's Patreon down in the description of this video so you can sign up and become a Patreon if you so desire. Right off the bat, they addressed that they weren't going to be able to talk about too many details of the wedding. McKelty confirmed that the wedding was in fact filmed for the show and there are some rumblings that they may do a wedding special. McKelty and Tony answered two questions about Gwen and this is what they had to say. So a question that they answered was, did Gwen attend your mom's wedding? McKelty just answered very simply, no, Gwendolyn did not go to the wedding. It was very matter of fact, not a lot of emotional inflection, just a cut and dry answer. Another question was, I have to ask, why didn't Gwen go to the wedding? Because of Peyton? McKelty said, I honestly don't know. And then Tony said, kind of at the same time, I'm not going to answer that. And McKelty went on to say, I don't know. Gwendolyn didn't tell me why she wasn't there. When she didn't show up, it was kind of a shock to me. I didn't know that she wasn't going to be there. And then Tony finished up by saying, that's a hard question. One thing is very clear. This family's dynamic can vary wildly by what is portrayed on the show and what happens off camera. Gwen has stopped uploading to her YouTube channel for at least the time being, but she has still been uploading to her Patreon. Her last upload was October 2nd, and she made no indication that she wasn't going to be attending her mom's wedding. Some viewers are speculating that she may have opted not to attend because she has been very open about her desire not to be around her brother Peyton. I do want to point out though that she did attend her brother Logan's wedding last October, which Peyton was also at, so she does have a track record of showing up to support family members no matter who is in attendance. A wedding is a pretty large event. It's not quite the same as an intimate holiday family gathering. It's being reported that Christine and David had 330 people at their wedding, so I think it'd be pretty easy to avoid someone if you wanted to. A couple weeks ago, Gwen reacted to episode 4 of season 18 on her Patreon, and during that reaction video, she revealed a lot of information about her mom that gave me the vibe that things either were or are tense between them. I made a video on that, and I will link that in the description of this video as as well. What's interesting is at the beginning of that reaction video, Gwen tells us that she just got back from Utah when she was filming that video. Some of the things Gwen revealed about her mom in that video was that she felt that her mom was performing a little bit. Gwen also says that Cody and Christine were equally terrible about their divorce off camera. 
And Gwen answers some questions from her patrons. And in some of her answers, she says things like, she doesn't think that Cody intentionally took anything out on the kids. She says that she feels like her dad didn't feel welcome around Christine and the kids were usually around Christine. Gwen also says that she didn't get mad at Christine for the way Cody was treating her. She got mad at her mom because of how her mom was treating her during the divorce. Someone asked if she believes Cody is a narcissist and she said probably, but he's not the only one in the family that's probably a narcissist. Another person asked about Christine bringing Truly to Flagstaff to see Cody and if Cody ever traveled to Utah to see Truly. And Gwen makes a point to specify that Christine traveled to Flagstaff to work. That's where the interview set was. And as a byproduct of that, she also facilitated visits between Cody and Truly. Gwen reveals in that video that she doesn't think Cody likes David at all. Apparently they met, but Gwen can't really discuss that because she did sign an NDA. And apparently the entire circumstance around Cody and David meeting is it was at an event about Gwen, maybe her engagement party or something. The cameras ended up making the situation about Cody meeting David and Gwen says that that upset her. In regards to the bike riding scene with Truly, someone asked if Christine raised them to be so good with words, and Gwen says no, that was all her doing. Sometimes being the middle child tends to be more chaotic, she said, and people come up to her and tell her that Christine taught her to be such a good woman, and she corrects them and says that no, Tumblr taught her to be a good woman, and that in turn she taught Truly. As of the time of the recording of this video, Gwen has 3,627 Patreon members with membership options ranging from a $2 tip jar tier all the way up to a $25 super mega fan tier. It says that her most popular tier is the $5 fellow enjoyers tier, which is the base tier to actually view any of her content. If all of her patrons were on that $5 tier, she would be making a little over $18,000 a month. Now, Patreon does take a cut of that depending on what plan you're on. I think they take anywhere from 8 to 12%, plus they charge processing fees. So if they took 12%, Gwen would be earning just under $16,000 a month. I myself am on her $10 tier, so I'm sure that amount is actually higher. At this point in time, all we know for certain is that Gwen did not attend Christine and David's wedding. I'm sure since the wedding was filmed, we will see the fallout discussed on the show. Let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comments. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel. Check out my second channel, Sarah Spills. A link for that will be in the description of this video. Follow me on Instagram, threads, and Twitter at Reality Squad, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Take care. Have a good one. Much love.